afternoon to one and all present here. My name is Gaurang and I'll be talking about unraveling enveloped protein of SARS coronavirus 2. The ongoing pandemic has been caused by novel coronavirus known as SARS coronavirus 2. According to WHO reports, over 63 million people have been infected and over 1 million people have lost their life due to this virus. The SARS coronavirus 2 has four major structural protein and E protein is the smallest among the structural protein and it plays a major role in the viral life cycle. Though it is a small protein, it is the most enigmatic protein among the structural proteins. Protein E is 75 to 109 amino acid long and it is abundantly expressed in cell during the replication cycle but only a small part of it is included in the viral envelope. Since it plays a major role in the viral life cycle, it is an ideal candidate as a vaccine target. To date, most progress on coronavirus E protein has been made on structure, mechanism and pathogenesis involved in the functional aspect of the coronavirus. Herein, we have carried on a comprehensive characterization of enveloped E protein of SARS coronavirus 2 by sequence and structural analysis. We obtained our sequence from the NCBI database and carried on with our sequence and structural analysis using muscle alignment, GenDoc and ITSA. Phylogenetic analysis was done using MegaX software. Epitope and motive analysis was done using IEDP database. Drug docking was done using Autodoc Vienna. From our analysis, what we came to know that was protein E is present in all the four different genres of coronavirus and is of, made up of three domains, N-terminal, transmembrane and C-terminal. We, uh, we also came to know that the alpha coronavirus have the smallest E protein when uh, compared to the other uh, genres, whereas the gamma coronavirus has the lar largest. We also found that they had 16 conserved regions and these conserved regions were specific to each genre. We also found that the cysteine, which is conserved in the 40th place, is conserved in all the four, four different genres. In, during our analysis, what we also found that was, we found that protein E interacts with protein S through disulfide bonds on the conserved cysteine regions. And in the 3D structure given below, what we, what we have marked is the region on the coronavirus E protein structure where these conserved cysteine regions are present through which the disulfide bond interaction happens with protein S and those regions are 1640, 44 and 43. From the phylogenetic tree, what we can conquer is we can look at the divergence of each of the genres from their common ancestor. And from the, we also constructed the percentage similarity and percentage identity uh, tables. What we can come, come to know from this is that percentage identity is nothing but the ratio of the number of matches residues to the total length of the alignment. Whereas percentage similarity of the sequence is the sum of both identical and similarity. What we came to conclusion from our studies is that all the four, all the members of coronavirus family contain E protein of variable length and also varied in cysteine residues. These two characters are able to classify the unknown coronavirus into their groups. Now, I would like to thank my supervisor, Dr. Abhishek Kumar, for giving me the opportunity to do my research and also for being a constant support. I would like to also thank my teammates who have helped me during the analysis of the protein. I would like to thank IOB and DBT for funding my research. Thank you everyone for listening to me and now I am open to questions.